hi everyone from past couple of days i am getting constant queries from the students same type of queries like hi how, how we should go for the paper and how we should strategize our preparation so because of time limitation it is not possible for me to answer each and every one individually so i thought of making this video first thing second thing whatever advice i am giving i'll try to explain that logically if you are able to get that logic or rather if you are convinced with that logic then you can implement those advices otherwise you should adhere to what you are doing till now right why i am saying so because after the paper you should come back to me and say my preparation was going fine and because i followed your advice my paper was doomed right so there is a disclaimer written over this video in invisible ink that says i am not responsible for your result in any way be it positive or negative right so jokes apart first of the frequently asked question by the students to me is like he'll say a student will say i'm having two option in the remaining time either i can go for entire slips in that case because of limitation of the time i may not be able to complete each chapter up to up till say full satisfaction say 100% or second option is i can go for certain portion of the slips entire slips say which i call which they call yeah, important chapters say in mathematics we are having 30 chapters for example and what they'll suggest i'll do only 20 uh, chapters and i'll do it very well i'll try to get expertise in those chapters but in that case i'll be leaving 10 chapters altogether what should i do which one of these two i should opt for in that case i would suggest you should go for first one that means you should try to you should try to cover entire slips even if it is not up to full satisfaction right up to your full satisfaction level why because to understand this you have to understand the psyche or thought process of the examiner the person who is setting the paper nowadays we are having objective paper that means uh, probably you will be getting 20 to 30 questions 20 to 30 question gives ample space to the examiner to cover each and every chapter right agar man liya there are less number of questions available say if i am asking only 10 question I, i may not be able to cover entire syllabus but if i am given an option of 20 to 30 chapters i'll definitely try to cover in each and every chapter right plus given the fact there are many questions in which you require application from multiple chapters this is the first thing so examiner's mind is prepared to cover each and every chapter this is the first thing second thing is in mains they will be giving rank to, to say 2 lakhs people right in advance also they will be giving at least if we say how many people will be getting through je in iit so maybe 10000 20000 rank they are supposed to rank these many people for that the paper cannot be very difficult or very easy in both the cases it will be very difficult to give rank that means definitely it is logical to assume that paper will be graded every year this happens right graded by graded what i mean there will be certain portion of the paper which will be very easy there will be certain portion of the paper which will be moderate and rest of the part will be difficult what we call very difficult portion right okay now you think of a scenario if a student has covered only 20 chapters and he has left all together 10 chapters in which he knows nothing right now this may happen that the easy portion of the paper consists of those chapters which he has left all together right so he cannot attempt from the, that portion and difficult portion of the paper consists of those chapters which he has mastery upon right again in difficult question uh, there is no guarantee you will be able to solve and most probably iit iit is difficult problem means real difficult problem so they won't be able to solve that either or maybe 30 40% of that difficult part they will be able to solve so his preparation is doomed his one or two year is wasted so these kind of gamble you are not supposed to take and you should appreciate that these are not hypothetical scenario you are having three subjects physics chemistry mathematics then different combination of the chapters so any person with basic knowledge of permutation combination can say there 
so many combination you never know which, what kind of combination will be coming according to which you can prepare yourself okay when i suggest this many people come back to me and they say there is a some so and so bhaiya did this that he prepared only for 20 chapters out of 30 and he got some rank less than 200 right again i would say if you are preparing for logic if you are preparing for iit then you should have a logical brain it may happen that your that bhaiya was lucky enough right when you are doing say when you are covering only 20 chapter and leaving 10 chapter definitely you are preparing for certain scenario right a particular scenario if it comes in the paper then you will be able to do very well right but if it does not come maybe you will be sitting outside iit outside j so preparation is not gamble you may not be that lucky as your bhaiya was right preparation is not gamble okay preparation means in my opinion optimizing your effort to get a respectable rank irrespective of the scenario of the paper right on this i have to say this much only right so finally i would suggest that you should complete your entire syllabus you should not leave any chapter right even uh, chapters in mathematics like sot which is formula intensive and hit and trial based many questions of which are hit and trial based you should be knowing at least formula because there may be a question which is simply plugging the values and getting the answer those kind of question should not be left in the paper because those kind of question will ensure that you get through j then if you are doing moderate questions or difficult question then you get a better rank